Okay, team, let's rewind the facts. First, Tina's made a new friend, Safira Semengo from Mozambique, Africa. Safira will be at Hurston for a couple of weeks while her father works at the United Nations. Safira's father is very strict. He worries about her schoolwork and her safety in this new city. Safira tells Tina her older brother, Malinga, moved away from Mozambique three years ago because he and Mr. Semengo had a fight. Mr. Semengo is still very hurt, and he doesn't even want Malinga's name mentioned. But... Malenga is here in New York, and I'm going to find him. You see, malenga has been secretly writing letters to me, but I don't know where he lives in New York. Safira really misses Malenga and wants to give him a special African carving. After searching for clues to Malenga's whereabouts in some of his letters, Tina and Safira figure out that he shops at a market in Fort Greene, Tina's neighborhood. So, Safira convinces Oko, the family driver, to let her go out with Tina after school so they can secretly search for Malinga. Meanwhile, Alex is volunteering for a one-on-one -on -one program. That's where older kids help younger kids. He's helping Hector with his writing and they're becoming friends. But the girls can't find Malinga. And on top of it, Safira gets in trouble. For the rest of our stay here, you are not to go anywhere unless you are accompanied by Oko, your mother, or myself. But Safira must find Malinga soon. So Tina gets the ghostwriter team on the case. And they finally find the market where Malinga shops. The team leaves a message at the market for Malinga to call Tina's house as soon as he sees it. Then, Safira and her father have a fight about family rules and she walks out on her parents. I hate you! What will Safira do now? Will Malinga get Safira's message so they can be reunited? Get a pencil in your casebook out and start piecing the puzzle because the ghostwriter team is on the case. right away if she shows up here. All right, bye. She must be trying to find her brother. Help, you know. Why? Hector's your friend, not mine. If you want to impress him with a clean room, be my guest. Least you could do is get out of the way. Why? I live here too. I know it's kind of hard to forget. Hey, I was looking for that. Oh, Alex is bullshit. Rally at Tina's. Maybe it's a fierce brother call. Oh man, I really want to go. I gotta help Hector with his current events assignment. That's okay, I'll fill you in later. Thanks. You know, the least you can do is pick up your... ...checks. Excuse me, sir. Yes? My name is Safira Simango, Malenga Simango's sister. Oh! <laughs> so good to see you! Why, you're even prettier than your brother described. Thank you. Have you seen him by any chance? Not lately. But your friend brought by that beautiful poster you made. I put it beside the coconuts. He won't miss that. I'm sure when Malenga comes, he'll call you. Do you mind if I wait here for my brother a while longer? Of course not. Wait as long as you like. to do? Anything can happen to her. She hasn't been getting along too well with her parents. That might have something to do with it. And what a drag. I'm sure she went looking for her brother. She's been talking about wanting to go live with him. Maybe she went to Mr. Tung's market to wait for Malingo there. Or maybe she came here after all. 
Oh, hi, Jamal. Guess who I ran into on the way to a rally? Oh, hey, hey, how are you doing? Good, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hey, what's up? Guy gets back in town yesterday and doesn't even bother to tell anybody. I was waiting for a rally message. Sure you were. I was so jealous when you wrote and told us that your mom's job was keeping you in Australia till after school started. I would love to have an official reason to miss school. But now he's back. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm back. Jamal filled me in all about Safir and stuff. And now Safira's run away. What? Tita thinks she's gone looking for her brother. Well, how well does she know Brooklyn? Not well at all. That means she could be any place. I say... Before we go calling and running all over the place, we need to ask Ghost Rider if he can help us find her. Right. Would she have Malinga's letters with her? Yeah, she takes them everywhere she goes. Maybe Ghost Rider can read the letters and then what's near them. He doesn't even know Sophia ran away. Now he does. <laughs> That's a good question. Have any of you guys ever thought about running away? Yeah, a couple of times. I ran away once. Sort of. I was really, really angry at my mom because she was at nursing school and she was busy all the time. So I packed my suitcase with my comic books, my baseball mitts, and some clean underwear. You've always been sensible. <laughs> and I marched out the house. I never made it past the sidewalk. I was too scared. So then what'd you do? Nothing. My mom came down and explained why she was always so busy. Hmm. I was still angry at her, but I guess I felt better. I felt like running away after I took that $50 from the store to buy that Galaxy Girl costume. I'm glad I finally talked to my parents. I thought about running away yesterday. Huh? Nothing. Are you okay? Yeah. Hey, guys, I've asked Ghost Rider to look for Malanga's letters. I don't want anything to happen to her. Ghost Rider sure is worried about her. Feels good to know he's always looking out for us. Yeah, and we look out for him. That's what the Ghost Rider team's all about. We look out for each other. I'm moving again. What did you say? I'm moving again. My mom's job in Australia, well, it's permanent now, so we're all moving there. We just came back to settle a few things. I'm leaving you guys. Thank you very much for the apple, Mr. Tanner. You're very welcome. Are you going now? Yes, I have to go. If my brother comes, don't worry. I'll tell him to call you right away. Tongue. Malenga, at last. Yes. My sister, Safita, she left this message for me? Yes. As a matter of fact, she was just here, checking to see if you'd seen it yet. Wait, wait, where'd she go? Where is she? I don't know. Phone. Where's the nearest telephone? You can use mine if you like. <laughs> Thank you. My father. I wonder if he knows I'm here. These are some really cool letters, you know? I'd like to see some of Malenga's paintings, because he sure knows how to paint with words. Maybe we should think of other ways to find her. Uh, let's keep looking for Malenga. Uh, we can call florists and Italian restaurants. I wish you didn't have to move. Me too. 
Me three. Me four. Me five. But hey, Australia's all right. And Sydney's a nice city. It's right on the coast, and there's beaches and sailing races all the time. I'll write to you guys a lot. And you'll write back, right? Of course we will. Hey, guys, Ghost Rider's back. Mochila bonita. Bonita. That's Spanish for beautiful. It means beautiful in Portuguese, too. Mochila means bag or backpack. Mochila bonita is what's printed on Sofia's backpack. Ghost Rider must have backed her. Yeah, but where is she? That just tells us that she's out on the street somewhere. Now what do we do? Hope she's not lost. Look. And so should we. Hello? It's Malanga. And in journal time in school, I actually wrote stuff. I did just like you told me. I tried to catch the words as they came out of my head and squashed them right down on the paper. I mean, it was so cool. My man. And now you got this carnivore assignment. Yep. I'm going to write about this old guy who came into the store where my mother works. Uh, Hector. And he says he need a wrench, but he doesn't know what size. Uh, Hector. Huh? That's not a current event. Yeah, it is. It happened yesterday. A current event assignment means that you write about something that you read in the newspaper. What happened to my mom should be in the newspaper. Come on now, Hector. That means I have to read the newspaper. So? I hate reading. It takes me a year to finish one paragraph. I doubt that. A day? Come on, I'll help you. Okay. How about some blood and guts? This one, Firefighter Bags Cat. It's about a cat being rescued. I hate cats. This one. No. Hey, here's something about a truck. I like trucks. Truck sprays hundreds. How can a truck spray hundreds of people? Is it a fire truck with a hose or something? Keep reading and find out. A bank truck traveling near Dallas, Texas. Spewed? Spewed. What's that mean? Like sprayed or vomited. Yeah. Spewed. Spewed. Spewed hundred dollar bills all over the highway when its back door at. Go ahead. Bet you can read it. Just take your time. Accident. Accidentally. See. Accidentally opened and a bag of money broke apart. Oh, I get it. The truck didn't spray hundreds of people. It's paid hundred dollar bills. Right, go on. Motor is that's drivers, right? Stop head. Stopped. Stopped. Jump head. Uh, jumped from their cars and ran up and down the highway after the money. They were hampered. Hampered. What's that mean? Like stopped or slow down. They were hampered, however, by strong winds that sent bills sw swirl. Swirling out of reach. Larry Greenberg, president of Brick Bank, said that some of the money has been re recovered. Uh huh. Keep reading. But much of it is still missing. Oh, I get it. Recovered means they got it back. Hey, I like this article. Great, and you read it well too. Now all I have to do is write it down. Okay, current events. What are you doing? My current events assignment. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just copy down the article. You need to put things in your own words. But I like these words. Hector. 
If you put things in your own words, you really understand what you read. And what you write will sound like you. But you can still use some of the words you liked. Spewed? Spewed, sure. This is too hard. Okay. Just write it down like you're telling me what the article's about. And try not to leave out anything you think is important. Okay. There was this truck that was spewing money, see? I can't believe this. My sister Safira running away in this big city to look for me. She loves you very much. I know. If only I'd gotten to Mr. Tongs a moment sooner, if I had simply put my return address on my letters to Safira. Safira told me you were afraid your father might find out where you were. Yes, yeah, quite a stupid reason, actually. Why don't you call your parents? I'm sure they're really worried. About Safi, not about me. But maybe you could help them find Safira. What I can do is call Mr. Tongue and see if she's gone back there. Can I use your phone? Yes, yeah, sure. Ah, go, sir. The sun is beginning to set now. If only you were sitting here with me to see it. Ghost Rider must have caught up with Safira again. She's riding to Malanga. And she's sitting down someplace. She must be outside since she's talking about the setting sun. So, where does that put her in Brooklyn? Setting sun. Setting sun. I read about that. Here, Malanga writes here, I sit on one of the benches along a walkway and watch the sun set over the water. And the place he's talking about, it's Brooklyn, Brooklyn Heights. Heights. Huh? We think Sophia's on the promenade in Brooklyn Heights. If only you were sitting here with me to see it. Play while I have to work. I'm working. I'm helping you. Besides, we'll play a little handball when you finish your assignment. Okay, how's this? Hundreds and hundreds of dollars spewed out of a bank truck on the highway in Texas. People jumped out of their cars and ran all over the place trying to catch some money. But a lot of it just blew away. That's great. Put the story in your own words. Wait, one more thing. How do you spell dough? You mean like bread? Money. Same spelling. D-O-U-G-H. This is really going to make this report me. Now the brick bank is out a lot of dough. All right. Hey, what's going on? Go strike. What? Who? It's OK, Hector. Hector? How'd you do that, man? I didn't do it. Ghost Rider did. What do you mean, Ghost Rider? 
What are you talking about? Wow. It was like raining letters. Yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Okay, Alex, I promise. I really, really double, triple promise that I won't tell anybody, nobody. I mean, like, it can be a secret, okay? But just please show me how you did it. Do it, Hector. It was... Sit down. Do you see her? No. Go look over there. She was here. Look! Melinda, where are you? Poor Safi. But where is she? Maybe... There. Melinda, please, please call the Stedmore. She must have gone back to the hotel. Now I must go there too. Can I come with you? She's my friend. gives up right there on the wall you should have seen him when he saw Godfather's words it was like when you saw him for the first time remember mm-hmm. a new team member i can't wait to initiate him i mean i told him about the team and everything and he's really up for joining rob's moving away huh rob's moving away he's leaving the country brooklyn us but he just got back to pack his family's going to be living in australia for good that's like some five zillion miles away try eight thousand whatever Oh, man. Moving again. Poor Rob. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, like, always stepping into things. Like the time you went down to the Thunderhead gang hideout by yourself. <laughs> or when you're trying to save Lana Barnes at the Steadmore and her stunt double tied you up and gagged you. <laughs> yeah, she clunked me over the head with a Chinese vase, too. Yeah, speaking of the Steadmore, how come Tina hasn't called yet? I'm sure Safira's back by now. Sure call. It was great today, Rob. The way you connected setting Sun and Saphir's letters to the same words in Malanga's letters. Just the writer in me, I guess. Yeah. We're gonna miss that about you. Yeah. Come to see Safira. The last message Safira left said she was coming back here. Well, as you can see, she isn't here. Maybe she just took the long way home. Just? And maybe you should have just told me this morning what she might be trying to do. Roberto, there's no call for that. Tina and her friends have been trying to help, Father. They were able to find me, so perhaps... You? If Safira hadn't been looking for you, she never would have gotten lost in the first place. Well, if you hadn't forbidden her to see me, she wouldn't have had to run away. That's right, Roberto. Malenga's not the one to blame. I just want her back safe and sound, Louisa. That's all I want. We're doing as much as we can at the moment. We've informed the police and the UN, and Oko is out driving around looking for her. I'm sure Oko will spot her father. He's good at things like that. 
What do you know about Oko is at least three years old. <laughs> I know. And sometimes I'm truly sorry for not having been around. Seems like one child in exchange for another. Why can't we just all be together as a family? I'd better go. Of course. We did mean to keep you. Will you take a malanga? Yes, ma'am. I'm really, really sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Samango. I just wanted to help. Sabir is my friend. I would never, ever want anything bad to happen. 